Hey, advanced writing students, this is the second of three videos for Thursday, March 12th, the day after the Dean told um, Cara State University students that we would be moving classes online for the weeks coming after spring break from March 23rd to April 10th, and then reassess whether or not we're going to continue to be online. I am going to guess that we will be. Um, Okay, in this video, uh, I want to go over tips for moving to an online environment and what that's going to look like. Thank you for the students that helped me compile this list. Um, so one, we talked about what are the dangers or drawbacks or challenges to moving in an online environment. And then I'm suggesting ways that you can reframe that experience um, to be as beneficial as possible and still get the most out of your education, time and investment and money that you're putting into it. Um, okay, so tip number one, um, I would, and this is the biggest one, I would try to see what we're doing moving over to online as an opportunity to build relevant transferable skills. Um, we just came out of the cover letter unit, and you should think about how you might be adding bullets to your resume at this point. For example, um, I'm personally getting a license for video conferencing software, Zoom software, and looking into Microsoft Teams. Both of those are great specifics to put on a resume. Um, secondly, communicating in digital environments in synchronous and asynchronous format is the official term when we're working together at the same time or not at the same time. Um, that's also a big skill that we're building. So hopefully um, you're working on building those with me and getting creative about that. Secondly, this is a more practical one. I, as an online student, when I was going through um, college, I feel like the hardest part about online courses is time management because it's not you're not as held accountable by other human beings to be in one place and focus on your work at one time. So to kind of get around that, I'm encouraging everyone to keep a more scheduled, regimented time. I know that's going to help me personally, so I'm going to extend that to you all as well to let you know that during our scheduled class time and during our my scheduled office hours, I will have my phone on and be ready to take calls, and I will be online and be ready to answer emails if you feel more comfortable doing that. I'm also going to change the due dates to instead of being after before class begins, you're going to have up through our class time to complete the work. So the assignments will be due at the end of our class to encourage you to actually use that hour that you'd probably be procrastinating to do your work to do work together, um, at least in a synchronous fashion. And I'll hopefully be exploring some other options. We might do some video conferencing as a whole team or in groups as that becomes relevant. It's a challenge I'd like to see if we can rise to. Um, okay, third one, I do think, and this connects to the last one, is an opportunity to connect with your peers and instructors. Um, reach out by email if you need anything. I'm going to post uh, my text and phone number if you want to schedule a phone conference outside of the regular scheduled conference that we're going to do. Um, that's fine. Let me know. And it's a good time to reach out to your peers as well. If you can identify people that you know in class and offer to help them with their research, if they're doing research that's interesting to you, um, this is a great time to be connecting with people over the phone or via text so we're not any more isolated than we need to be. Um, and then lastly, oh my God, this is longer than I thought. Consider improving your inquiry skills. Hopefully you can ask questions that are gonna help you and the rest of us. You're gonna have an opportunity to share those questions, your initial answers with us. So if you can ask questions in a way that help the rest of us and help yourself, that seems like the best way for us to use this time. All right, um, thanks for watching. These were tips to get the most out of a transition into online environment. Uh, sorry for being a little rambly. Video three coming up.